Chris writes, hey guys, love the show. AMC, now Collider Heroes and Jedi Council are my jam. Mm -hmm. I got a question for you about subtitles in movies. Do you think subtitles take away from the enjoyment of movies? I watched Pan's Labyrinth a while back and found the visuals to be absolutely stunning, but I missed so much because I had to read to understand what was going on. Love to hear your thoughts. There are two ignorant points of view on this. Uh, I mean, hey, it's all subjective. Whatever works for you is what works for you. I don't like when people say, oh, I can't stand reading a movie. Then you are missing out on some of the best cinema out there. Life is Beautiful is still what is, is in my top 10 of my all-time favorite things, foreign film. My favorite cop film of all time, still Infernal Affairs. You got to read that. I, I just think you need to get over it a little bit and in, embrace it a bit. But that being said, on the purest side, people say, no, subtitle films are great. You, That's great, but you have to acknowledge it does affect the viewing experience at least a little bit because instead of your eyes sometimes being on the face of the character and what they're trying to emote or some of the things going on in the scene or that particular shot that the cinematographer is capturing, some of your attention does have to deviate from those things that a traditional filmmaker would want to be bringing your attention to here and here and here, and you have to bring your eyes down to the bottom and read a bit. So you got to get over it a little bit and be willing to embrace subtitle films. But at the same time, if you're a fan of subtitle films, you got to get over this superiority complex of thinking anybody who doesn't watch subtitle films is a swine. No, <laughs> you got to at least acknowledge there is a bit of a drawback to it. It's just that the drawback is worth it to some of us. Anyway, Steve, what do you think? Do you watch a lot of subtitle films? How much yeah. does it affect your viewing experience? I, I think you hit the nail on the head. I think that... Uh, like, I love Pan's Labyrinth, but of course it does take away from the film when you have to read the subtitles just because you're distracted. It's like when someone's talking in a movie theater near you, it wakes you up from the dream. When you have to, like, focus on something else but the screen itself and you have to read, it, it takes away a little bit. Saying that, some of the best movies out there are subtitled. And I think that if you love a movie that much, like a Pan's Labyrinth or whatever other movie you want to mention, you watch it the first time and you watch it with subtitles. Then if you love it, you watch it again and maybe don't read the subtitles as much, but enjoy the visuals. Mm -hmm. um, but I do think that you have to acknowledge it does pull you a little bit away, but it's so worth it. No, I agree. It's, it's, it's worth it. Um, I know we're on Clary Dallas. We talk a little TV. There's a new show called Narcos out on Netflix right now about the life of Pablo Escobar. And I don't think that show could have been made on ABC or Fox, not just because of the language or the violence, but because it's there's so much Spanish. And it's not, you know, fully Spanish, but, you know, there's, there's uh, also English as well, but there's so much Spanish. And I want the authenticity. When I, when I watch, like, not to criticize some of the CW shows, like, on The Flash and somebody's having a, a, a conversation in Spanish, all of a sudden they'll break halfway in the middle of the conversation and start speaking in English. I have a friend, uh, Michael Medina, who uh, he's he's going to be on the Cloud you know, After shows, and he's... Uh, Hispanic himself, and when he's having a serious conversation with one of his friends in Spanish, he doesn't break midway in conversation and start speaking English. It's not realistic. So I want to see that full conversation in Spanish. Daredevil did full conversations in Spanish. I think it's authentic, and we should respect and Russian that. And, and Russian and everything. Yeah. They didn't like break and be like, "Oh wait, now we're talking English now." You know, just to like show like, "Hey, we're diverse, but we're not that diverse." <laughs> it's like if you're gonna go all the way, go all the way. The, the best thing I've said this again and again, and I've brought it up with filmmakers. The best use of. Uh, Another language, and then going into English. I know exactly. I was going to say the same thing. I know it's, exactly what you're going to say. It's time for Red October. Yes, when yeah. they're reading the Bible passage, and, and like, all of a sudden, all, this camera zooms in on someone's mm -hmm. mouth, and they're talking Russian, and all of a sudden, boom, from Russian it goes to English. You pull back, and you realize everyone's talking in Russian, but you get to hear it in English right. because yes. you're yeah. in the room. I'm so it's glad amazing. you that. That's yeah. exactly what I was going to say. Mm -hmm. The hunt for Red October. Amazing. Situation. People Beautiful. should. People should steal that. technique. They should use it again Absolutely. and again. Absolutely. 